Revelio. Rebellion. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking Jesus. down my gobstones. I do not pay for all your Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Burn was as good as Sophronia. 
Lydia said she was. The Tulsa. Reset everything. Good to know. Thank 
kill. Take him. Yeah. 
这样吵的。这老子，阿弟。That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana Byrne. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. What are you up to now? Confringo! Revelio!
so. Good finger. Revelio. Lumos. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Any luck removing some more of those demigai statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, bring me a few more moons and I'll show you how to improve casting Alahamora. I'll keep an eye out for more demigai statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor. Especially since they can only be collected at night. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy Possibly. now? But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. This disillusionment charm is superb. I'm stealthy as a demigod.
Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Any luck removing some more of those Demiguy statues? I'm sorry to say I haven't found any more. Oh, how unfortunate. I was hoping you'd found them and remove those blasted moons. Where should I look for more Demiguy statues and moons? All of my uh, usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Oxmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor. Especially since they can only be collected at night. Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. Good friend. Rebellion.
Mine now, dammy guys. Rebellion! Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! Dick thinks you should be proud. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. 
Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now.
What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing. Come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke.
Venio. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellio. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? I've never seen a sword like it.
Revelio. Journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Revelio. Capulso. This looks intriguing. Revelio. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Reparo. Crooked tree, just as the map said. The crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. This is utter nonsense. I've 
never heard such rubbish in all my life. I think I get more sense out of moon cart stuff. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made yet. Now, where did I set my traps? Was it Lower Hogsfield? The curiosity they teach at Hogwarts will not serve you well. Before I find you. Fortunate for you. Good for you. Revelio. And the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. Could it be a Merlin trial? Who lived here, I wonder? Relio. Confringo. Most goblins in my family were in the mines at one time or other. What do we have here? higher up in the keep. Stone walls do a prison make, sometimes. A ladder. That's what I need. Afraid to fight!
always on patrol. It's a waste of my skills. It's no Dallas. on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. What will we find in here? It's punishment to us all to have that miserable human around. Revelio. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Ranrock's hands. Revelio. Oh. Uh. 
既然成功了Revelio. Well, I will not. Cleases. Can bring up. Rebellion. to open it. human to worry about.
Revelio. Revelio. Down there. Let me see. I've been fighting since before. Let me see. I can bring you. I can bring you. I can bring you. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Oaks. Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Rokes's wand. Where could it be? Run away! 
Rebellion. This must be Mr. Hope's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented well, how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be i couldn't go through with the agreement and when i told them i ended up blindfolded and behind bars locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizardkind. Sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ranrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex, and my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be alright? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him.
Revelio. 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 Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. Revelio. Mm, not the 
best place for an unaccompanied student. Revelio. Can bring us. Revelio. It's like a place right out of a storybook.
Revelio. Revelio. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Rebellio. Alohomora. Alohomora. I now, damn it, guys. Revelio. Rebellio.
Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. it. Rebellion. Compulsor. Levioso. Good bring up.
Acción. Revelio. Solves that. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. I don't have any of that. Perhaps you could try in Hogsmeade or one of the hamlets. And get extorted by the Ashwinders? No, thank you. <sighs> if you won't help me, I shall have to take my chances, won't I? How am I to avoid Ramrock's lot? Thank <laughs> you. 
finger!
Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of travelling necessities. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes. She's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of travelling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. Nice of you to stop by. Goblins got you yet? Or did you find some Maxima potion? No, no, not yet. Does this mean you've changed your mind? You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. I should investigate. Window. Rebellion. anything I wanted. Good brain. Teachers would say. An honest day's work for an honest sickle. That's my career. <laughs> Rebellion. surprise.
Revelio. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Try again. His Merlin Charles won't get the best of me. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. But if I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Enjoy your time in Irondale. Shame about Porrick's sister. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Uh, the name is Porrick Haggerty, and this is my shop. W what may I help you with? I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you don't mind. Certainly, that'd be fine. What would you like to know? What sort of products do you sell? I sell all manner of beast products. I always found beasts interesting, and there's quite a market for them. Fancied I could make a profession out of it. How long have you been living in Irondale? All of my life. My sister and I were raised here. I stuck around. <sighs> She had other plans. I hear there's a goblin mine near here. Have you ever seen it? I've been uh, near it, but never in it. I could likely find some valuable beast products, but it's not worth the risk. Ranrock's loyalists are not ones to be messed with. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Glad you were able to stop by. Rebellion. Alohomora.
Revelio. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Good friend. Rebellion. Revelio. Ringo. Rebellion. This looks like the statue Madame Twiddle mentioned. Why are there so many vases around here? I suppose I should try to find all the vases. Rebellion. I think there should only be a few more vases. Rebellion. I'm nearly 
Nearly finished. One more vase. That's it. I should tell Madame Twiddle about what happened. Ah, 
here. Defender. Let me answer. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue.
castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. What do you have in store for me this time? Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Oh, nice to see you here. Ah, isn't the sea air refreshing? Revelio. Gringo. <laughs> Levioso. Akio. Levioso. Always, you won't stop me. I'll cut you from shoes to shadows. Oh, that was meant for me. Can bring us. Defender. Stop avoiding me. Akio. Oh. Oh. Ah. Easily diverted. Let me go. Not quite. You can't stop us. I've been fighting since before you were born. I'm How childish! Oh, you think you're so clever. Levioso! Your acrobatics will only postpone the inevitable. Confringo! Oh. Confringo! Oh. Confringo! 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 Oh, a pitiful end to a pitiful child.
travel to and from Feldcroft in an instant. If you see dear Anne Sallow, please do give her my best. Protego! Revelio! Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome. I'm Bernard Indiaye, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroft the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgruff and his associates are in league with Ranrock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. What do you sell here? Glad you asked. I sell the finest array of beast byproducts you'll find in the entire countryside. If you don't believe me, Feel free to look about. Eventually you'll return. They always do. What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? Although I admit I didn't choose it. It chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts. And my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? A pleasure doing business with you. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Rebellion. Oh, 
Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Alohomora. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Revelio. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Rebellion.
That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will she not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. 
They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Prepare Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set camp here for a specific reason. They have stations Rebellion. for everything. Rebellion! 
I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch Keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. The ball Huh, a stairwell. Lumos. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger.
seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Confringo! Lumos! Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway? Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but... I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now, I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. 
I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Falbatten Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Now a teacher herself. Rebellion. Wonder she's not covered up by her own fangs, Geraint. Protego. Fills our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for No, you. no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. 
Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um... Something else? Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. 
Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Tidy, as I expected. Cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no, not this close to school, I mean. <gasps> the constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. What an excellent broom.
There we go. Revelio Accio Confringo Levioso Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible, perhaps before you leave here. Akio! Arrest the momentum. That's it. Keep it up. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. 
And I would have been a Tengu, if not for a bit of bad luck. I know that feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Mm, and some things are in it. I should have known better. I made my own luck. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as trials for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. What is Felix Felicis? A potion? Also known as Liquid Luck. And it is illegal in all wizarding sports. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. Rebellion. Hello, Homura.
Alohomora. Revelio. I'm far too afraid of heights. Arrest the momentum. Lumos. I never feel fear. All of my relatives work at the I suppose one could spot. Rebellion. Revelio. Alohomora. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys.
Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. Arresto Momentum. Levioso. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Lumos.
Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Rebellion. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethy could let the no-sayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. 
how to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. Again, I've got spectacular news. The Revelio. Stop by the shop when you can. Oh, hello. And how would one like to be styled today? Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the Ministry and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? Take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Rebellion. Come on in, come on in. Don't be shy. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be passed up. Be thankful you have socks. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. You're not dancing, you're exercising. Said the charms come out in the wash. Have it happened? Known someone so dramatic. Revelio. Anyone would think you had an affliction. Oh, please, can't we take this off? Revelio.
Revelio. Greetings. Please, take your time looking about. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. What will I do without her? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Adam Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. I hope to see you again. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus. Or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnif. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnif's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Are you in some sort of trouble? 
Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. Please take this as thanks for your generosity. See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. That's been a pleasure. Poachers? God, if it was right then, I'd better be careful. Ridzaker! Kunfringo! Thought you had rest of the Careful not to get bit. Incendio! That was a mistake. So very weak. Incendio! Oh, it's a bit like, um... Simon's been finished. Oh, fine. Kunfringo! Slow. Are you even trying? You're not going to bring it. Hang on, Reduction. Good for you. Never ever. Arrest them. Let's drop a fable, they. Back here. Who is it? Oh, what a night. Alohomora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? All right, this kid. Let's get you back to Garnif, shall we?
aren't you, Fred Biscuit? I shall sort something out. Goneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. <laughs>